Okay, but this thing is not working at all. No. This is... We don't have control over this thing anymore. It's actually recording. You were able to see what's going on with this. This is just uh, browser a cut down to nothing. Uh, you can't upload, you can't download. The whole thing is just completely messed up. Uh, applications uninstall themselves. Uh, it doesn't help. Even if you put application lock or file lock or whatever it is that you do, it doesn't help. Uh, it's a house Wi Fi, and this Wi Fi is completely, totally out of control. Um, I have to say I no longer have control over the computer, uh, over my website like this. Things are uh, not normal. This is not normal. What's happening? Uh, now, I will proceed uh, with this um, transmission. This is one of the best videos I have created yet. Definitely one of the best and it comes with a proof and this one is actually related to the video about which I have submitted about Schengen issues, um, MK Ultra in Poland. I think it was a part five of twenty or six of twenty, where I point out exactly uh, with a proof, with a fact, how I was brought in 2017 from Belarus to Poland. Uh, it's ready to construction site and in continuation as I will continue with this uh, proofs about MK Ultra in Poland uh, in particular watch lodge uh, I will demonstrate yet another situation that relates to the construction site and totally confirms stated that I was brought to Poland in 2017 when I filed for political asylum in Belarus. Um, how this movie, this one is, just wait and you're gonna see, this is very much related to Belarus though. In this movie I will talk about attorney, attorney who, who, re, who referred me uh, to the building which I have later on identified. Uh, he referred me to another attorney and from there uh, I had visited that building and so on. If you did watch that, uh, Zgirsh City and this is one of the best videos yet. It's got a little bit, it's got all kinds of stuff. First of all, let me say that attorney whom I have met was on Wednesday in Zgirsh. I was in Zgirsh uh, and he came to the library the second time I have seen this individual now. He was in the library and it was like this. I asked him about... I made... I wouldn't say a guess, okay. I'm going to explain to you. I pointed here out two locations in Zgersh, two buildings, which, well, let me demonstrate this to you. These are two buildings right here. Okay. This is what I have pointed him as the, this video, but this is one of the best videos. This video is related to the Belarus, the construction site, with which I have proven I was brought to Poland in 2017 from Belarus where I filed for political protection. Uh, it's related so and it's going to be also related in continuation to you will see again MK Ultra concerning Watch City where I exposed the situation at, with the little store. This is yet another proof about Belarus in 2017. Definitely, uh, political asylum option was completely misused uh, for totally other purposes. Uh, 
it's great this video because when you when I said United Nations and Belarus uh, in Belarus it's United Nations that controls political asylum system this is yet uh, the best about it and it's even better so because in this video it concerns individual an attorney whose name I'm not gonna even say is just an attorney the main attorney for I don't know if still that is the case but he was the attorney at least in 2017 when I was there for the Vitebsk uh, for the people that would uh, seek political protection in Belarus and it just happened so that this very individual the same age as I am about the same age um, was involved in MK Ultra uh, from beginnings, uh, sometimes from 99, 2000 and up. Uh, well acquainted with this whole situation, he's an attorney employed by United Nations. This is the most shocking part about this whole thing. And it's probably the most important, this very video. It's more important maybe than the proofs that I have submitted about uh, construction site and, and still that I'm about to do this for uh, work and so on. The attorney, the Polish attorney, okay, let's just go from beginning. The Polish attorney um, was one of the people that got involved in this case. He expressed interest a lot of people did, most of the Polish people express interest to help out. Um, once people learn about what goes on here in Poland, they were willing, eager to help. In one form or another, they wanted to help. Uh, not easy to help under the circumstances I have explained have, have happened, uh, is they have monitored, they had their watchmen, they would watch everything and report everything and follow up on whatever this uh, American MK Ultra staff members or Polish people alone if I was in entrusted to them whatever they would brought me they would they would have this KGB people this this watchman that would very quickly they would report to their bosses about what's going on and it was something new anything basically Ruskis would allow them to do whatever they want to do but they wanted to know exactly what is going on and they wanted to do so because of the latent stage of the MK Ultra. Uh, latent stage of the MK Ultra was the most important one because the memories are the most alive. And the second thing is whatever you do with respect to timing you can confuse the person completely, mess the comp person completely up and so he's not going to know anything about what's going on and he's going to come up with the wrong information therefore if and it was based on a timing a lot uh, where the cities were developing uh, that's the, that's the kind of stuff where businesses were opening and stuff like this where you're going to obtain statements from people that's all the kind of stuff that you can you can play with especially if you subject individual to, to a really a hardship like they have done to me in Slovenia, then pretty much you can do anything, you know, anything you want to do. You know, I am not angry, really. Uh, I was angry at the times. I was angry at the times. MK Ultra procedure alone is extremely, I'm going to tell you, extremely, extremely, extremely violent angry procedure it is because this is this is the time when you have no control over yourself and just about any garbage any freak have control over you they can pretty much do with you whatever it is that they want to do any kind of frustrations they face in their heads uh, they stress all their problems on you uh, you're pretty much guilty for everything and unfortunately in today's world uh, as things aren't that easy for the people uh, people are actually looking out for something like this so they can relieve the stress on somebody that comes randomly, whatever. Uh, this was not the case with everybody, but if I mention this Belarus attorney, I'm going to say in a little bit, I'm going to explain to you. Now you're going to understand why MK Ultra is so angry. Why is it 
that people get so angry. I mean, you this really words they choose are very selective words on how to insult human dignity, how to undermine uh, parallel to the forced unemployment and stuff that you face. You face issues like beyond insulting, beyond 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 anything you possibly can imagine. So when you watch this stuff and you watch people about talk about you know how they posture themselves in a society how they would um, you know i would not take this i wouldn't this and it would be this is too much and this and that and when you consider the stuff they instill build in, in you through mk ultra a lot I, I would say that most of the people fail and that's how they find themselves in a lot of trouble so you got to have a thick skin you got to think over things uh, and you should not allow yourself really to, I'm not going to say emotions, but you should not allow your brain to, uh, you know, wander somehow uh, in direction that can pull you down, boy, like that you will never ever recover. In this business, you only make one mistake, and that's your last mistake. It's your first and your last mistake. And people involved in this stuff are psychiatrists, psychologists that are, uh, watchfully they're watching this big time uh, and guess what they're just looking for any kind of opportunity if they can get opportunities they will lie on the paper about you like they did about me in Slovenia they will make their stories they'll make the lies so just one real mistake is your last mistake more than not likely okay um, when you write information, let's say, on a hard drive, I'm going to repeat the same thing I already have told once, and it's what I was told on MKUltra. This information is clean. It doesn't have any errors. It's the way it is. It's the way it was written original. It's the information you got. In this case, I got one from attorney. I got one from a Polish attorney who wanted to help. Uh, many other on, on other locations as well I'm gonna to touch one about a little I read it about construction site and so on but in addition to that information and I'll go back to this late stage Russian issues all kinds of cuts lies garbage appears also written along this thing okay so there is another information that covers that primary good information and another one and so on in this case alone, and I'm going to talk today about attorney's residence, where actually he is based, where he is not anymore, where his apartment was, he bought home, he moved away, uh, and all through he told me that I don't have the right to mention his um, home, his ex-apartment uh, uh, and his house because I did identify him. And he knows, he told me, do not, do not, do not, do not. Um, I have to do it. I don't actually have a choice and I have to do it fast. Um, because I met him on Wednesday and on Wednesday I asked him about these two locations. Let's just say that were rewritten over the original information about the Ruskis. This is the fact, this is what it was. Uh, and the third chance he would not give me and so I was in the computer I went back to the computer uh, again and I look at that and I pinpointed his location uh, actually apartment building right there in the computer uh, of course it didn't go unnoticed uh, stuff like this and this is why I'm encouraged to go to the particular places, to the particular areas like libraries, where else are you going to go, where else are you going to do, and that's where they had their people involved, and again, I'm not going to say who, but was there to already give me, like, uh, Pan is, uh, you know, he's guessing, uh, he is guessing, and he's going to ask so many times till he's going to find the location, this is not the case, that's why I got to publish this thing today, another thing is, if you wouldn't want me to uh, point out this location, which somehow I cannot point out on a map, and that's a good thing. Um, but for the police department that is watching this stuff, for the people that know about this case, uh, this is a good step enough for me. Uh, important to do it as fast as possible. Should have been already done. 
uh, if you didn't mean you you shouldn't take me to your place and so I got to use this one way or the other um, I am gonna publish this information got lost here a little bit um, I don't like doing stuff that I'm told by the people that I shouldn't do uh, that I don't have the right to do it uh, and I did actually I recorded myself and I was asking him these questions and twice I guessed wrong then he told me uh, that I don't have the right to go and uh, publish information about uh, where he used to live okay um, I don't like to do that kind of stuff but you know I'm just forced to do it I apologize I don't have other choice um, but before I do that let's go back to this rewriting we were we would sit like this at the table okay like it was a table like this uh, inside of this library oh another gentleman was like when I when I asked him when I attempted to get the answer from him he was like he is trying to guess and this and that and tra la 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 it's just like stuff that's happening it's not only sirens coughing and stuff like this it's like for every occasion they have something that is gonna make you give up give up give up give up give up and stuff like that okay um so we sit at the table he's talking to me on the computer uh pointing me out the city on the map on the google maps but you're not gonna forget but you're not gonna forget this and that and all of a sudden you know all of a sudden we hear um go on go on and the attorney knows uh, looks at this individual i felt this that he was very very discomforted as we sit like this next to one another in the library in this library in this public library and i felt that he felt uh, very very discomforted i felt this i was subject to mk ultra but you can feel that it's like a tension you know like all of a sudden it's like quiet and and it's like go on go on proceed go on and you know there wasn't really much to go on about because this was an attorney from belarus uh this gentleman employed literally at the united nations a kgb individual uh employed by the belarus united nations scary stuff sits there uh and it is just you know you don't know what you want to talk about because it's like he's trying to help you out but now it's your death basically that sits right next to you he knows it we all knows it there were other people also with us we were very everybody was discomforted i did not figure out what it was to me it was all the same under mk ultra i didn't care really but this is what the situation was then he starts to play with this thing what about this what about that da, 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 da. and he start to read the write that information that went on for years with his own version with whatever they have and it's interesting to note that this polish attorney met his match his belarus attorney you know they wouldn't send somebody like related to something else whatever but it was an attorney who approached and who started to handle the case in which polish attorney let's say was involved this is all interesting stuff and so what he would start to do is he would start to point out location behind the library he would start to point out another location next to the lake in Sgersh. Under MK Ultra, the problem is that you're not completely, you don't, you're not totally, you're not totally, um, you see individual as much as you're allowed to see one. You're not, you're not completely demonstrated um, individual who is the individual that is talking to you. You don't, but I remember how it all started and when it went from there the brainwash became severe it did go from the library from the map where i was shown he would allow me to go with a mouse or the cursor on the map back and forth 
show me the locations the same way like attorney did, then he would actually take me physically to his locations. He would produce the story that he also moved like that he was an attorney who tried to help me out and that he moved out and so on. They, they created all kinds of situations like this of which some I realized uh, involved feelings like like a hurry feelings. One time it was a hurry feeling. Oh, I, you have to know that I moved to another location, to another location. Then I was brought to that location and so on. And so this is the stuff that is extremely conflicting stuff uh, when it comes to MK Ultra. Somebody told me once under MK Ultra, he told me, you know, and I reminded myself as I walked back from Zgersh, I saw the father and I saw a child. Uh, child has a little bike and he was going along his dad. Uh, and it was this beautiful sand and they both they walk and i remind myself this beautiful day it was like a beautiful beautiful day i remember and i remember what this guy told me he said well he said mk ultra this is like memories on from childhood you know that's all that it looks like this it's not true uh the memories in this case at least are very detailed very very detailed if this attorney would if police would demonstrate me because i was also inside of his home inside of his house if they would demonstrate me photos from the from certain things uh, about his house i most likely would be capable to pinpoint the one that pertains to his house um so in this case and it not only to his house but to houses here in grotniki where I was, in which I was, uh, and probably I would say some uh, for Zgirsh, uh, there is a lady here right across the street that Donald Trump helped her assure a loan. So she opened the business over there in Holland, a store. And I remember her taking me to watch where mom is. I didn't burglarize homes. I didn't go and just, I don't know, do what? So I could go and do something secretly or something like this. This is well-documented case. No way possibly you could do something like this. This is just plain facts that uh, I don't remember only the side streets. I remember some very, very, very uh, details, like deep details about it. It's much more than just uh, memories from the childhood, okay? Child is something I love about life. To see children, this is life. Uh, it's, um, how can I say, the idea about that MK Ultra was something like uh, memories, like memories from childhood, something is attractive, but this is not the case. It's everything but that hopefully you have never gone through anything like this i want to distance myself as far as possible for something like that it's got nothing to do with the childhood this is just as nasty as it gets um the attorney the belarus the united nations attorney from vitebsk told me you know what he said to me i mean if this isn't criminal then i don't know what it is he said to me he was laughing to me and he said if you're not going to be able to tell these things uh, do you know that you're going to be rated as an insane? Shit like this. And how the hell are you going to say to me that this is not violent? I mean, you find yourself in an environment that you recognize, that you know, you know you were, you identify people, you identify buildings, the shit goes on for 23 years, they torture you with the psychiatry, they do the shit like this to you, physically they're doing to you, and you're thinking about the words like this. How can this stuff not be violent? I mean, how can this not be violent like this? You don't get to lose only 23 years and stuff like this, but somebody's actually laughing in your face and saying, if you're not going to be able to identify stuff like this, you're going to be rated as an insane. And it doesn't matter if you already lost 23 years. Folks, this is brutal as it gets. Nothing funny about this. And again, you're talking about attorney from Belarus. 
United Nations attorney, country where United Nations supposedly handles uh, the human rights issues. I am scared. I am scared because I complain to United Nations. So I don't really know what to expect, what kind of assistance. I am really confused about that. You know who the main individual in, for United Nations is in the Belarus? It's a French guy. So this is the head of immigration, basically, of political asylum, uh, of protection that is granted to you in Belarus. Now, why would they want to do this? Probably you can guess that Belarus is not a very human rights friendly country. Uh, you know, unless you think that Soviet Union uh, was looking forward to, uh, I don't know, that's another issue I don't know enough. I'm not going to say, but I can tell you that um, when it comes to the Belarus, uh, my situation in Belarus, when it comes to political asylum protection, was as hostile as possibly could be. Um, I don't actually have anything else to say in respect to that. Regardless of it, again, as I ended this... Um, You know, using the two attempts I used, the third one, he would not use me to pinpoint uh, his location. And those are the two errors. And again, no wonder, because this is what was stored on my hard drive, uh, this one inside, at the latent stage of MK Ultra. So these are the two memories you would jump first to. This is a big problem with the timing. Timing can be a real problem especially when involved psychiatry, psychology, and they intimidate you with the coughing and all kinds of stuff. They doubt you on every millimeter is good. They intimidate you. This is tough. This is a tough stuff, folks. This isn't easy at all. The third chance he would not give me, but what I did was I did go to the computer and I look for that option that was the most logical to me and it's the only one that I didn't ask him. And... I left the library that day, same time as he did. He he went, he went his way out. Actually, earlier, and I went my way. I went straight to his home, straight over there on the other side of the city where the library is, right behind. I'm gonna say cemetery, and I went straight to uh, to the building which I have found on the Google Maps, on the Google um, Streets. And I have left already. I was already going back toward Grotnikich. I was right there on the yard in front of his building. X building is what I'm talking about. And then I said, I came over there to the store, uh, close to the store, the Mila store. I said to myself, I said, no, 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 no. What about if you're not going to be tomorrow here? Because I was going to plan to come back on, 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 again, on Thursday, yesterday. And I said, what about this? I mean, what are you going to do then? Since the library, folks, the library here was closed the entire week. Uh, um, and I said, no, 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 you know what? Turn around right now and make this video recording right now with a timestamp. And so you're going to have a prove you were here on Wednesday. Uh, and that's exactly what I did. I turned around. I went quickly uh, back to this building. And I video recorded his yard, his ex-yard where he was, his home. And also uh, have pointed out his apartment unit. Um, I did so, uh, so uh, there's not going to be some kind of doubts. This video should already be on, but due to circumstances, due to the situation, I was not capable to put one on. Uh, this is a problem with the internet, with the stuff. It's it's problematic. That is true. But again, I don't want to go from this area, from the Lodge Gears area. I don't want to go from here. Uh, I don't care uh, if this place is safe or it's not safe. I do not care because if it was safe and you're going to see how safe it was in the following video I'm going to release why after eight months I'm here 
why it's now all of a sudden unsafe when I started to reveal uh, the businesses, the people and stuff like this, when I started to lay down the proofs about uh, this MK Ultra and my presence here in Poland, knowledge about this whole place. I don't want to go from here. This is important for me. Now it's crucial for me to stay here. I don't care. And uh, if I already had to go, definitely would not would like to go to, to Warsaw or some other place. I want to stay here in this place, in this vicinity, so I can complete my job. This is why I would like to do this here. And I would love to complete this as fast as possible. I do want to go about the job. I do want to go about other things. But with the stuff that's happening like this, it's a little bit difficult to do it like this. This you can do it in one week or you can do it in, I don't know, like this, in months or something like this. It's not really helpful uh, to do stuff like this. Um, it doesn't do me any good and sure enough I will complete all these projects. Okay, so now let's go, let me go and let me demonstrate you exactly for the people that watch this, police departments and other people that are familiarized with this case, let me pinpoint his location properly. Okay, this is, what, this is just a document, basically the location of attorney who helped me out, just in case, I'm not gonna release this, right, but I forget, he does not want to have his locations revealed or anything for that matter. Okay, but, you know, I'm just saying, if, if I am asked by the police or something like that, somebody asks, something doubts, whatever, there you have it, this is his entrance, right there. This is the entrance, but apartment is on the other side, okay, so now the Ruskis created a cluster here, they took me to the buildings over there, they took me to that building right there, and you have no idea on the internet also with Google streets, they just clustered and clustered and clustered everything with the lies over and over again, I mean, they... they Oh, this is just a pure evil. I don't have really any good words. Uh, I'm very disappointed, really, because you know, it also involves some people that uh, I actually trusted, and um, you know, the people I thought that uh, you know, it's like a good people didn't come out like this. Okay, anyhow, on the other side, you do have a graveyard from Sgir City, but if we continue to this side here. All right, his apartment unit, if I properly can identify one. Ah, let me see, let me just see this thing here. You see, this is what I get to see. But his apartment unit, let me see, -da 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 -da. it would be something like this. Something like this, something like this, this would be his apartment unit, something like this. I cannot go and say, hey, that's his unit, this and that, but, uh, you know, I can say this is pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. It's better than, you know, I expected, you know, under the given circumstances, I didn't imagine this actually would one day become the reality that I'm gonna go like this and point out but there's more information stored in the brain than what I would give myself credit to that's definitely true so this is his location right there now let me get the hell out of here this is already weird enough 